My name's Gabe Gonda. I'm the, uh, the arts editor of the Globe and Mail, and uh, I'm going to be helping uh, guide you through the evening. Um, so thanks for coming. And uh, first, I'd like to just uh, mention uh, the wonderful work of Lynn Cohen, um, and, 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 and salute Lynn. Um, As, as you all know, you've just been spending some time with it upstairs, and Lynn was the winner of the inaugural prize. Uh, and it's a wonderful body of work. Congratulations, Lynn. Um, and the Globe and Mail is uh, a, a proud partner uh, in the Scotiabank uh, Photography uh, Award. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's our job to engage the public and celebrate great Canadian art. Um, but I think uh, Scotia, Scotiabank deserves real praise, not only for its uh, its historic commitment to the art, arts and culture, but uh, in particular in the context of this award, its vision um, in, in um, being so generous in, uh, in, in founding a prize that speaks to one of the premier um, Canadian contributions in contemporary art. Uh, Canadians are giants in contemporary photography, and so I think it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a visionary institution that recognizes that, that, that wants to reward that, and, and, uh, and that wants to take the lead in that area. So I think they deserve a great, a great thank you. Um, um, and, and, and then finally, I'd like just like to say, for the artists in the room, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, who, who, who toil in, in studios and unglamorous um, sites, uh, in, sometimes in obscurity, uh, uh, thank you to you as well. Uh, this, is, this is the reason we're here. And so dinner starts. Uh, I won't bore you anymore. And, uh, and probably be back in about an hour to, uh, to begin with the, uh, the important part of the evening, uh, honoring the, uh, the nominees and, and the eventual winner. Thanks very much. We are here to celebrate the arts and today celebrate great photographs. When it comes to photography, I'm always reminded of a saying of Ansel Adams, and I quote, a great photograph is one that fully expresses what one feels in the deepest sense about what is being photographed. And the great photographs we are celebrating here tonight do just that. Scotiabank is proud to support the many initiatives that help build and sustain healthy, vibrant arts communities here in Canada and in our markets globally under the Scotiabank Bright Future banner. The arts, as you all know, are fundamentally important to society as they bring depth and richness to our lives. We aim to celebrate exceptional Canadian and international art, and most importantly, to make it, make it accessible so it can be enjoyed by as many people as possible. I believe that this award has already begun to do that for contemporary Canadian photography. Building on the success of the Scotiabank Contact Photography Festival and the great reception to Lynn Cohen's work, last year's winner is a testament to that accomplishment. And you saw many of her photographs up in the gallery earlier today or this evening. This year, we have another exceptional collection of photographs to celebrate. And I look forward to the official announcements of our winner later this evening. And even though being vice chairman has many perks, knowing the winner is not one of them. <laughs> this event represents the culmination of a lot of hard work by many people, and there are many to thank. In particular, though, I would like to thank two people. Firstly, Ed Batinsky, not only for his role in the development and creation As I said, not only for his role in the development and creation of the Scotiabank Photography Award, but for his commitment to many other projects that the bank has been fortunate to be part of. I'd also like to thank Jane Noakes for her vision. She made me say these things. I'd also like to thank Jane for her vision and leadership in establishing this award because it wouldn't be here without her support and for her contributions over many, many years that have brought us to this point. Thank you again for coming tonight and have a great evening. Sorry to interrupt your dessert, but uh, I think it's, it's, it's that time of the evening. It's the exciting time of the evening. It's the reason we're here. So, um, before I introduce Jane Noakes and Ed Bertinsky, um, I will just say a word or two about the three nominated artists tonight. Um, and I think it's, it's fair to say that these three artists truly represent the, uh, the breadth and the depth of 
of uh, talent in, uh, in, in Canadian contemporary art. Um, breadth because they each, they each do such different things working in a similar medium. Um, and depth because the baby in the group, Alain Paymont, who's, who's 52, has been at his practice for uh, a mere 32 years. So that gives you an indication of just how deeply invested they are in their practice. And um, so I'd, I'd just like to say a few things about each of them. And, and, and I'd like to start with Fred Herzog, who's not here tonight, who's in Vancouver. And uh, Fred Herzog, like Alain, like um, Arnaud, has been taking photographs for decades. Um, and uh, in his case, he had one subject. Uh, his subject was the city of Vancouver. And he took, I think it's estimated at about 100,000 uh, color uh, Kodachrome slides of Vancouver. And to demonstrate the, that this was genuinely a labor of love, no one in the public, the wider public, saw this work until very recently, until he was in his mid-70s. Uh, and that, that didn't deter Fred from pursuing it. And, and what's emerged in the few years since this work has uh, achieved a broader public is an extraordinary, um, extraordinary record of a city that no longer exists, but that few people would have seen beside Fred. It's a, it's a look at a city, Vancouver, which we think of as gleaming and modern and moneyed, but uh, it's a look at its, 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 uh, its grittier face. Uh, it's a look at an immigrant reality before we acknowledged one even existed in this country. Um, uh, so it, it's an extraordinary body of work. I had, I had the good fortune of being in Vancouver three weeks ago at the Equinox Gallery and spent an afternoon with the work. And, and I can tell you that um, there were multiple generations of Vancouverites in, in the gallery looking at the work. And to a person, they were all um, riveted by it and, and relating to it on an extremely personal level. Looking at these, you've seen some of the work up there on the screen this evening, the Vancouver Hotel, these wonderful signs from the 1950s which are now vanished and everyone has memories. So it's work that touches people in a very, a very, in a very um, personal way. Um, Alain uh, Paymont, uh, uh, the, as I described him, the baby of the group uh, at 52. Fred is 81. Uh, sorry to fix it on ages, it's very uh, indelicate, but <clears throat> there it is. Uh, um, Alain uh, describes his work as, as mapping. He says it's mapping, and he's been at it for 32 years. And I've never seen any maps that look like that, uh, Alain. It, you know, the work is, to my mind, more of a detonation than a map. It's, a, it's an explosion of what photography can be. It's taking photographs and rendering them in three dimensions, looking into spaces from above in ways that uh, no one can see them. Uh, and, and uh, we've published some of, of your work in the, in the Globe and Mail, and uh, it's truly wonderful. It, it, has a, it, it evokes, for me at least, a, a kind of childlike uh, view of the world, uh, and, 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 uh, and, a, and, a, and a really wonderful one at that. Um, and our, our, th our third uh, nominee this evening is Arno Mags. Um, Arno is, uh, is, uh, is someone who took up um, photography as a full-time practice uh, at the tender age of uh, 47, so. I suppose there's still hope for me. Uh, and his work is, 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 is characterized by its, um, its, its range, and I would almost say its, its compulsion. Uh, the, the, he, he takes uh, portrait photography, he, he collects objects. Um, uh, his wife, Spring, told me that when um, Arnaud and she are in France, uh, they get up at the crack of dawn at five in the morning and they go to the flea markets and they put on their running shoes because they want to collect these, these things, these fragments of life, this ephemera, things like 19th century mourning letters, um, payment bills that, uh, that, that belong to aristocratic families that, that detail their household items. Um, and uh, Arnaud's vision enables him to to put these things, to render these things as, as both beautiful objects and records of, a, of, a, of, of time gone by. Um, I was at the National Gallery in Ottawa in, in, on the weekend and I spent time looking at, at the, the work that's part of a great retrospective show there and it's, uh, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so um, uh, these are three nominees who are more than, than worthy, they're, they're uh, giants in their field and I think they deserve a great round of applause uh, from everyone. So now, uh, it's my honor to introduce Jane Noakes and Ed Bertinsky. And Jane and uh, Ed are the, the, uh, the uh, 
they are the founders, the, the, they, they had the vision to, to found the Scotiabank Prize. Uh, Jane told me it was over, uh, over drinks at Rodney's one evening. Uh, 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 but uh, it is a visionary prize, and it's, and it's the richest photography prize in, in Canada, and, uh, and, and each of them is a, is a giant in their way. Ed, Ed's work requires no introduction. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, an herb that is familiar to everyone. Um, it, it documents basically the, the biggest stories of the 20th century. Uh, global change, the uh, exchange of resources, uh, uh, labor where uh, uh, la the, the, the flow of labor, it's, it's beautiful work. And Jane has been with uh, Scotiabank for 31 years as, as the, um, the uh, director of the Fine Art Collection. So uh, uh, they will take it from here. Thank you, Jane and Ed. Thank you, Gabe. Uh, it goes without saying that it's a real pleasure and honor uh, to be part of this prize and to be here today. And I also want to thank you all for coming out on this rainy night to join us in the celebration of excellence in, in uh, Canadian photography. Um, the first person I want to really say a huge thank you to uh, is um, Lynn Cohen. Lynn, you know, it's, you, you were our pioneer. Do you, you stand up, Lynn? <laughs> Lynn's been a real trooper on all kinds of fronts, but also the one that's um, a tough one too, which is the inaugural winner, which means that she had to kind of help invent the first way, first time through it all, and uh, and she was. Such a pleasure to work with, professional to the T. Andrew as well was there helping us. So um, we couldn't have got to this stage uh, and to have the prize as beautifully executed without someone as, uh, as wonderful uh, as Lynn to, to be there for us. Uh, I'd also like to congratulate the, the three shortlisted, Fred Herzog, who's not here, Elaine and Arnaud. And Elaine and Arnaud, in case the crowd doesn't know, could you please both stand up? And again, the other uh, people who were also nominated were, were excellent. It was a very difficult decision, but the, but the jury uh, was quite confident that this was, these were the right choices. And so congratulations, guys, for, for shortlisting. Um, I think, uh, I, I didn't remember, was that Rodney? Was that at Rodney's that we come up, came up with this? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I don't, it was about four or four and a half years, but it's a story worth recounting because, uh, you know, contact, Scotia was just, Scotiabank was just thinking about embracing contact, and we had this discussion about what would make uh, a great award for, for this city and for this country in photography. And I had seen and been involved in several awards in, in, in France and also uh, in Switzerland, and I had seen them, and, I had, and the thing that I thought immediately, the thing that came to mind was, here in Canada, we, don't, we really don't support our excellent artists in the way that we should. We don't export that excellence. So the first thing, and the crown jewel of what I thought would be a great award is something that happened to me personally, which is in 2003, when I was uh, having my retrospective, mid-career retrospective at the National Gallery, an uh, internationally co-published book with Yale University Press occurred. And I had been working kind of quietly for 25 years, and that was my first book. And that book then appeared you know, on the shelves of the Louvre at, uh, at New York MoMA. Friends were sending me pictures from, from around the world where my, image, where my book was being featured uh, in the windows of all these museums that I would go to. And, and from that point on, I could see a difference to my career, that people all of a sudden understood the full context of my work, not one image at an uh, art fair or not a show if they happened to come into, sh uh, into town, but the whole context. So the crown jewel for me was that book, and it changed uh, my direction and what happened to me internationally. And I felt, well, this is what the crown jewel should be, which is this right here, which is, Steidl, which is the number one publisher for photography, so any photographer who knows or has been in the field uh, would do anything to be published by Steidl. 
Uh, and he's one of the best uh, publishers and for quality and for distribution in the world. And I thought, well, the crown jewel should be this book, because this book is now being seen in bookstores all around the world. And, uh, and it, I think it does make a difference when we do take our talent and move them into that uh, international uh, exposure. So to me, that is one of the great things. Of course, you know, there's nothing wrong with $50,000. Uh, that that, that helps for any artist. Um, and I did find out that it's actually tax-free as well because it's a peer award, so it's, it's fabulous on that level. Um, and, um, you know, and, and I think you know, the exhibition, of course, allows it to, to, to see the real thing, because I'm a real believer in that as an artist myself, that you really, really need to see the original work, because there's something about being in the presence of that work at scale and to see that, because uh, um, Lynn, for instance, works with an 8x10 camera. The quality that you see in those prints can only be achieved by that kind of quality of, of, of instrument that gathers that information and the lenses. And to see the work is to behold something that is very unique and does not actually translate in the book. So, and I want to also, you know, congratulate Scotiabank on the fact that in the way it was conceived four years ago, over a glass of wine, nothing it came through exactly as we envisioned it, that there was no meddling and, and there was no cut corners, that we got what we wanted. And I think this being, you know, the, the completion of the first year, I, I'm, I'm very thrilled and very happy and very proud to be associated uh, with Scotiabank and with this photography award. So, so again, a hand to Scotiabank for that. Uh, and also to Sabi, wherever, thank you for your kind words to Jane and myself. I don't know if we deserve those words, but thank you, thank you. Um, and so I'm going to move the, the mic over to Jane. Jane, uh, a great colleague to work with, and, and we cook ideas all the time and try to put out fires and try to figure out how to make all this work. And it's been an exciting process. Um, Amanda and Barr as well, great team to work with. But uh, Jane, your words. Um, as I said to somebody earlier, just a bit overexcited tonight. Um, this, as um, Gabe and Ed have so kindly said, um, was an idea, a dream, uh, that, yeah, it started at Rodney's, okay. But we had uh, built up to this over a long time, and Gabe was very kind. Uh, it's actually 41 years in July that I have worked for Scotiabank. Uh, and I actually loved every minute of it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Rick Waugh has been longer than I have, and he's actually older than I am. But other than that, there's nobody on the planet that, uh, that is our age. Um, when we dreamed this dream, we really wanted to do something for excellent artists. As I was saying, um, we have a lot of things in Canada for emerging artists. We have, at Scotiabank, uh, a great tradition of helping amateurs at all levels. Um, uh, should I say the Leafs at that point? Um, but we are really, really good at taking things to the street. We're very good at doing things that are inclusive. And we're really good at making sure that things are free and accessible. Um, Scotiabank Contact Photography Festival fits that to a T. Uh, it is everywhere, including in the subway, because I get to do things like, you know, a little press thing in the Dundas station. Or as my brother said, Jane, that's called busking. Um, we are very, very good at involving students of all ages, um, at engaging people from all countries to come and join us. Uh, in studying during contact, so the workshops and the various portfolio reviews, the really serious things that go on behind the scenes, but go on every day, every night, for a full month. Contact is the largest photography festival in the world, and it's ours.
And so the long of that is that from my experience running the bank's archives and fine art collection, helping to influence some of our arts, culture, and heritage sponsorships, which I think anyone in the room will agree is what we're known for now. We do it very well. Um, it's been a wonderful journey. So when we got to that stage of saying, what do we want to do with this award? It was quite clear what we wanted to do with this award. And Lynn is the personification of what we dreamed. We just didn't know her name, but she is the poster child for this award. Uh, she is the pioneer, she is the first, and we are so very proud to have her with us and so grateful and so appreciative. And we particularly like her haircut. <laughs> As Ed mentioned, he and I established the award so that photographers from across this country could continue to enrich the lives of people here and around the world. I really want to thank Ed for being my partner. He will tell you that I generally don't say very kind things about him and generally beat him up a bit, uh, but he needs it. Um, but he is my partner. Well, Thanks, Mom. Sometimes you do. Um, look how good you are now. It's taken me 20 years to get you to this. He has been my partner in spa, and he's given so much time and energy to help us launch this award. Thank you so much, Ed. There's also a group of remarkable individuals that we've brought together to make this award happen. And a lot of them are in this room, and a lot of them you've seen on the, on the screen. They are our partners and our supporters. And I want to thank especially Shauna Levy and the Design Exchange team. Thank you so much for letting us do this. Our nominators both years have done a tremendous job at, of scouring the country, of using their knowledge of the Canadian contemporary art scene and specifically um, contemporary photography to bring us, to bring to the table, because I don't get a vote, uh, to bring us the very, very best. And our nominators deserve a huge round of applause because they worked very hard on our behalf. And finally, I just wanted to say the jurors. The jurors of this award work intensely over a period of a couple of days and then face the press and announce the three shortlisted winners, which we did in March of this year. Um, the, the jurors come uh, with tremendous uh, skill, with a background uh, in Canadian art. You can read it on our website, which is a great website, by the way, and somebody here should be thanked for that. Um, the jurors have worked together, and in both years, they have been in unison and absolutely unanimous in their decision. And so, to the jurors, thank you so much. If I had a glass, I'd raise it to you. Uh, finally, I do want to mention that um, Ed talked about Gerhard Steidel. I've sent him a private note because I just think that fitting us into a schedule um, when we are a Canadian bank that he probably had never heard of, uh, he knew Ed and that's how we got there, um, but he made time and space for this project um, and that to me is, is a wonderful leap of faith. I thank you, Ed, for, for getting that. I thank Barr for designing the book because it is um, another award winner, I would suggest. Thank you, Barr. <laughs> At Scotiabank, as you know, we see tremendous value in supporting excellence. We support excellence in a lot that we do, and we support it especially in Canadian contemporary art. I could tell you that because in 1975 I wrote the policy for our Canadian art collection. And I'll tell you the whole room, as I always do, we're the only Canadian bank with uh, an archives that's fully open to the public. 
and with a collection that is publicly accessible. When I say this at um, the festival previously known as Caravana, where are you? Um, I get 800 calls the next day uh, of people who want to come and tour the art collection or visit the archives. And you know what? Fine. So anybody, anytime, just let me know and we're open to it. I'd really like to thank the bank for supporting the vision of the corporate archives, of the fine art collection, of the arts, culture, and heritage sponsorships that those things support, and especially for getting behind Scotiabank Contact Photography Festival and SPA with such enthusiasm. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate the support. Thanks a lot. Now I'd like to introduce somebody who has been a great supporter, is very thoughtful about what we are trying to do um, with the award and with the other things that, uh, that we're involved with. Um, Anatole von Hahn is um, a superb leader and he is the group head for Canadian banking. He's going to tell you two things. He's going to tell you his thoughts on this award and this evening, and he's going to announce the winner of the 2012 SPA Award. Jane, thank you very much. Um, just before I start, a couple of quick words, and then we'll get to the winner. Um, when I got here, I said to Jane, Jane, you've asked me to uh, announce the winner. I still don't know who it is. And Sabi, you say you didn't know when you came up here before. I'm up here to announce it. I still don't know. <laughs> but the, the, your last words were, just say your thing and it will come to you. So it will come to me. <laughs> now, another thing that Jane and Ed did, and this is almost to a day a year ago, and that was we were at the first annual uh, Scotiabank Awards for Photography. And somewhere in the middle, Jane took me aside and said, I want you, Ed, and I to chat for a couple of minutes. Now, I know Jane, and I've known her for a while. And when Jane wants to chat, I have to pay. <laughs> and I did, big time. <laughs> but Savvy, I'm glad you're picking it up. <laughs> now, I did take notes after that, and I think it's really important because it summarizes, I think, exactly what Jane and Ed had as a vision and that, that evening, there was a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of commitment, and a lot of, of vision. And there were seven parts to the vision, as I recollect, as to what you said. The first point was, share the Canadian artistic talent with others, with Canadians and internationally. Secondly, help bring Canadian photography to another level. Thirdly, publish a book with the art of what has been done and created, preferably in Canada and internationally over time. Fourthly, have first-class jurors that judge the work submitted and make sure that it really is a true competition. Five, every year bring this photography work up a notch. Six, celebrate Canadian artists and photographers and their work with a gala. And seventh, have Scotiabank play an important role to start this vision and continue this vision. So in typical banking style, how have we done? Firstly, we are sharing the world-class Canadian photography. Secondly, this year's shortlist of artists have used their camera in a very innovative and powerful and enduring way. And it really is great, great work. Thirdly, a book, as we heard earlier, and we are public, and we are national, and we are international. The jurors have done an amazing job of selecting the best work with professionalism, criteria, and great judgment. The fifth one, I'll talk about later, and that was every year 
bring the photography work up one more notch. But I'll talk about that in a second. Sixth, the, uh, the vision was a gala, so we really celebrate it. And here we are at the second annual Scotiabank Photography Awards and the first gala. Seventh, Sco Scotiabank is sponsoring and fully engaged and involved in playing a key role to bring this to the next stage and to bring this vision to life. So Jane, Ed, and all those that organized and helped, and I won't name them all, but you know who you are. We're living your vision. We're sharing that vision. It's a fabulous job, and we're proud to be part of it. Thank you very much. And I think most importantly, that fifth criteria in your vision of bringing it up one notch every time. I think as we look at the artwork, that was shown today and that the finalists, all three of them, have put forward, we really have brought it up and bring this event up one more notch. So with this as a backdrop, I don't know where the name's gonna come to me from. <laughs> Somewhere, the winner is. <laughs> That's where it comes. And the winner is Arno Max. what to say, but I do come prepared, so I brought some uh, papers with me. This is an incredible honor, and I'd like to thank some people. I'd like, I'd like to begin by thanking Doina Popescu. She is uh, director of the Ryerson Image Center and her, uh, and her assistant, Rachel Bourbon. Um, unknown to me, Doina chose to nominate me for this award. And from there on, things got rolling. Donna wrote the application and must have used some glowing words because uh, they did the trick. <laughs> I'd like to thank Rachel for organizing and facilitating this process and keeping us on track. I'd like to thank my own assistant, Katya Doliato, for re resurrecting early work and bringing it back to life. It was a successful team effort. And again, I thank Doina, Rachel, and Katya for their enthusiasm and contribution not to mention hard work. I would also like to thank Susan Hobbs for her enduring support. She has chosen her artists carefully. She has been intent on advancing the careers of her artists, and it shows. Her artists are represented in leading collections both in Canada and abroad. Susan's great to work with. She's been showing my work for almost 20 years, and we continue to have a fruitful and rewarding relationship. Thank you, Susan. I'd like to congratulate my fellow finalists, Alain, Alain Paymont and Friends Herzog. They are both fine photographers, each with an extraordinary body of work. It is an honor to be nominated alongside them. I'd like to thank Jane Noakes, Ed Bertinsky, and Sabi Morwa for their passion and vision, which has helped to make the Scotiabank Award such a strong advocate for photography in Canada. And I'd like to thank Scotiabank. Guess what? You're richer than you think. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, 
So that, that concludes the evening. I wanted to say uh, on behalf of the Globe and Mail, uh, th thank you to the bank uh, and, and, and to congratulate the nominees once again uh, for uh, outstanding work. Good night. Mm -hmm.